In the past three to four centuries, mankind has seen some awful diseases that have the potential to wipe out humanity. But sooner or later, somehow we managed to find a cure for those diseases. Polio, rabies, swine flu, etc. We even got a cure for cancer. Although it doesn't work for all, but we have something to put against it. However, there's one disease that has wrecked us to the core, and it is AIDS. Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome a chronic potentially and life-threatening condition caused by the human immunodeficiency virus. By damaging your immune system, HIV interferes with your body's ability to fight with infection and diseases. HIV is a virus that damages the immune system. Untreated HIV infects and kills CD4 cells, which are a type of immune cell called the T-cell. Over time, as HIV kills more CD4 cells, the body is more likely to get various types of conditions and cancers. And this virus is transmitted through bodily fluids that include blood, semen, vaginal and rectal fluids, and breast milk. Although the virus isn't transferred in air or water or through casual contact, to learn more about this devastating disease, we'll have to trace back to its history. On April 24, San Francisco resident Ken Hone was reported to the Center of Disease Control with Kaposi sarcoma. Later, in 1981, the CDC would retroactively identify him as the first patient of AIDS epidemic in the USA. And after that, it kept on spreading throughout the world. So much that now every nation, every city and nearly everyone knows about this terminating disease. For many years, doctors and scientists have been trying to find a cure for this virus. Although there have been temporary ways and some precautions, but there has been no actual cure for AIDS. So why is it so hard to find a cure for AIDS? Due to the complex nature and structure of HIV, locating and quantifying the amount of virus in the body is proving to be a difficult task. HIV evades the immune system by staying dormant in infected T lymphocyte cells, also known as T cells, until they are activated to respond to infections. This stage is called latent infection. Some of these cells may live for decades without becoming activated. Cells that are latently infected are described by scientists as HIV reservoirs. Detecting and eliminating these cells is the biggest challenge facing the cure research. Let's talk about T-cell reservoirs or the HIV reservoirs. A reservoir of HIV-infected T-cells can be found in the lymphoid tissue of people living with HIV. Even if HIV is undetectable on viral load tests in the blood, it is there that lymphocytes are produced and primed to find infections in the body. So this brings up a decent chance to find the HIV reservoirs down there. Macrophage Reservoirs Studies have shown that HIV does not only infect T-cells. The virus can also persist in macrophages, cells which are found in virtually every tissue in the body. As a result, other sites in the body such as the lungs, brains and genital tracts are also important reservoirs for latently infected cells. The discovery of latent HIV residing in these cells gives us new insight into locating viral reservoirs and why it has been so difficult to locate them. Macrophage cells are present everywhere, which unfortunately makes their isolation and analysis challenging. The long lifespan of these cells also constitutes the perfect environment for HIV to exist in and difficult to detect. This is the place where the virus can hide out and proliferate for many years. And at last, the technology gaps. Tests that are sensitive enough to identify the presence of virus at an undetectable level are limited and tools that can reveal the true scale and depth of these reservoirs are yet unknown. This of course provides limit to advances of cure research. Without the ability to sufficiently monitor what is happening to the virus, at this undetectable level, it would be impossible to verify if curative strategies have made a lasting impact, as there is always the potential for the virus to re-emerge from undetected reservoirs. And this, folks, is the reason why it is so hard to find a cure for AIDS. So make sure you use preventions beforehand. See you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.